Welcome back to another Tactical Tuesday, everyone. And today we're going to be discussing some movement techniques uh, inside of maneuver maneuver warfare. Just a quick th- uh, breakdown of the three kind of most common um, movements that you'll see from you know troop size elements from team, squad, platoon, sometimes company level stuff. Um, even divisionally, it kind of works sometimes, um, but it's it's a huge, much broader picture, and that kind of escapes some of what this channel focuses on, which is more of like individual purpose stuff. So with that said, let's dive into it. But before we do, again, thank you to Rain City Tactical for being a huge sponsor of this channel. Head over to raincitytactical.com. Use code BFBN at checkout. Uh, tons of great stuff. Great dudes. Go support them. Also, I'm doing a high-speed gear Operator Cobra Belt giveaway. Head over to the links in my bio. Click on the giveaway. There's 15 ways to enter. You got 10 days left or so to enter. So get on it. Don't miss out on that great opportunity. Again, it's absolutely free. And I just want, and I'm just doing it to uh, say a big thank you to you guys uh, for just being so awesome in this community. In this community. So, with that said, again, let's dive into today's topic, which is movement techniques. Right. So there are basically three uh, main ideas behind movement techniques or ta- in the in tactical movement right so you have traveling traveling overwatch and bounding overwatch so inside of traveling right that just means that we are traveling is basically you're moving at the fastest pace that you can while uh trying to maintain security but of, of the three you're gonna have the least amount of security because you're moving quickly um you're gonna have uh less dispersion more control, uh, um, and, and you're going to use the traveling basically uh, when like, contact is less likely, right? Like you're going to be moving quickly, more bunched together, just trying to get from point A to point B, that point B being like to the point where you might start considering contact as as a as a higher priority, right? Then you have traveling overwatch where you think contact is possible. Um, you'll have a little bit less control, over that you'll have more dispersion than just in, in your traveling movements and uh, it'll be a bit slower than your traveling movement and but you will have more security because you are slowed down a bit right and then the final one being bounding overwatch where basically contact is expected and you're gonna that's where you're gonna have the most control because you're gonna be slowed way down you're gonna have the most amount of dispersion that you will have between the three types of movement or the three movement techniques um, and you'll have the most security at that at that point. So um, I'm going to just briefly draw this out really quick for you. So, and just to kind of cover what we just had said, right? So if you imagine this line, oh, wow, well, that's not the color we were looking for. Let's try this again. That's odd. There we go. Okay. So imagine this scale, right, with a perfect, (laughs) perfect line there. Uh, If this is your um, speed, right, and... This is uh, control. Or security, kind of however you want to look at, look at it. And as you move up this scale, right, it gets to negative 10, right? Then, and that's like, this is uh, speed increasing 1 to 10. Right, so the faster we go, right up up this up this uh, graph, right, the more control and security we lose, right, and so that's why you have to really pay attention to like the movement techniques you're using, and when you're using them, for multiple reasons. One, because you need to keep your your own mission objective in mind, you need to keep your uh, you know 
the the intel you've been briefed on as far as like what you have for for what is going on in the enemy side of the line and potential scouts observing your movement right so going to traveling so like if you were let's just say and you you would use tick when we've gone over this before in, in another video but the column right the column is a really fast paced can be a very fast paced uh, movement exercise single file obviously is faster but you can accomplish the same thing with a really tight space column so in traveling let's just say we were in the column right so we'd have one guy here one guy here one guy here 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 so forth and so on right and so if we're just traveling we might all be in this this column together right and just we're just marching through we're getting to our objective as quickly as we can uh, and the objective again being not the actual objective itself but like that next the objective of getting to like our next phase line right so we want to get to that next step off point where we believe that we need to start upping the security and getting more dispersion so if we um move into the traveling with uh traveling overwatch right then maybe we are here and we're like a little bit more spaced out you know and then we have overwatch on top of that so there'll be another element off to our flank maybe satelliting that will be moving along with us maybe they'll be just slightly ahead of us um but they will be moving along with the 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 element uh typically in a position that gives them some form of advantage um over the route right so like they would potentially be at like on the high ground if you will so if we're like on the side of the hill like the, uh, and let's just say this was like a ravine that we're in they would be up on the hill uh trying to provide that like overwatch or overwatch security for the move the moving element right so that is traveling overwatch now bounding overwatch would be basically that the overwatch element right the overwatch element would come out in front of us right set up where they're going to be and they'll basically have set points that they will move to as the main element is traveling so as the main element is moving a direction the overwatch will bound up to a position to, to provide that overwatch and then we'll bound again to the next overwatch position so that the element can continue its path to wherever right this is just an example um but they'll continually move to that next spot forward of the unit to to ensure that the maximum amount of security can be held and that the maximum amount of attention can be placed on their capabilities as the overwatch team now the another thing to consider about this these three different movement techniques right is let's say you you are a scout let's say we're on the opposite end of this let's say you are a scout or you're doing some recce work or whatever the case is and you notice it's it's important to notice these types of things it's important to take note of of how an element you're observing is moving because it can tell you a lot about where their own headspace is at right so if i for example am out on a recce mission of some kind and i see you know a a bunch of elements maybe there's multiple uh in a particular area that are formed like this and maybe they even have like some sort of transport vehicle or tank or something right that's in front of them right we're kind of leading the way this is a very aggressive very fast-paced um movement which means that this element doesn't necessarily necessarily think that the that the odds of contact are very high right they're not dispersed they're not they're not ready for a fight um this is a formation that again moves very quickly but uh, if they take contact are can be torn apart really quickly because there's there's no dispersion and they're all lined up together and you know, yeah they've got the the vehicle out in front of them maybe maybe you know maybe they don't have the vehicle but again from the flanks they're just totally totally lost right so 
understanding what you're looking at so that you can, you know, report back what you see or to make your own tactical decisions in, in the moment. Cause, or, you know, there, there could be a chance where you are out on a mission that it, that where you are already in that, um, that, that bounding overwatch te- technique. Right. And let's say the overwatch catches this coming up on your guys's element. Right. Then, you guys have a huge advantage because this again tells you the enemy is not prepared to make contact with you. So you have you have the el- a huge element of surprise on your end. Now, if you see if you see if the Overwatch team sees, you know, if they if they spot some sort of um, element trying to gain the high ground, like a counter Overwatch, you know, element, and they see troops with a ton of dispersion, right? If you see troops with a ton of dispersion, you should automatically start thinking, okay, well, if they're if they're dispersed like this, they believe that contact is potentially imminent. And if they believe that, if they're doing what they should be doing, they should also have this overwatch element. They should have an overwatch element or a satellite patrol somewhere or someone else out there gathering intel for them. They're gonna have their own scouts, their own their own recce teams, you know, whatever. So Understanding what you're looking at is going to be vitally important if you catch yourself in a scenario like this. So with that said, I hope it wasn't too much of an information blast. I try to keep it short and sweet. I hope this was informational at the very, at, at the very least. And if you guys have, have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. love to get back to you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for Weapons Wednesday. As always, stay loose, battle on. And if you bitch in your heart, it'll show.